Hey guys, it's Dalika13 and I am so excited for this review today. Today we are reviewing Cast of Fierce. Oh, I've been looking forward to getting her. I'm so excited. This is such an awesome doll. I can't wait to get her out of the package. But before I do that, I just want to show it to you real quick. So I really like the packaging that Mattel did on this Monster High doll because it's so awesome looking. As I'm sure you know, Cast of Fierce is a singer, so of course in the background we have like a whole band playing. There's a bunch of like Halloween colors going on. I love how they did her name here. It's really pretty. Cast of Fierce, all in like a sparkly print there, and this gorgeous giant picture of her here singing into her microphone with her broomstick stand. How cool. So here is the front. I'll show you. The sides are pretty simple, just monster high. Has some more of those colors going on. And this is what's really awesome. This gorgeous full body artwork back here. How pretty. And here's her bio. I will go slowly so you guys can pause and read if you like. So it's her name here. She is 19 years old. Another awesome thing about this doll is that Casta is made from the Big Sister mold which I don't know, I think only two other dolls are. I know Nefra is the big sister mold and um, Headmistress Bloodgood. I think that's it though so far, now Casta. So here's this sign. And here we are again, okay. So I will be right back, I'm gonna pop her out of this box and we can check her out. Okay guys, I got her out of the box and she is even more amazing in person than she looked in the box. But before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a size comparison. So here is Casta. She is done in the big sister mold. Now here is Laguna and Laguna is like in your average mold, which most of the Monster High dolls are. And Twyla is actually one of the monsters that is in the little sister mold. So right here you can kind of see the difference in size. So it's a pretty fair amount. So I just wanted to show you guys in case you guys were wondering how tall Cast of Fierce was. Okay, now let's get on to the review. Okay, so as far as accessories goes, Casta does come with a doll stand as well as a microphone since she is a singer. She comes with this really awesome broom, which is also her mic stand. And she also comes with a black brush and a little book. So I'll just open this real quick for you guys to see. And this is one night only at Monster High. And if you read her bio, on the back of the box, it says that once a year on All Hallows Eve, Cast and her band put on an awesome concert. And this year, Monster High is the lucky winner of that concert. So I guess that's where she'll be performing this year. And this almost looks like a, um, like if you ever go to a concert and you get like a pamphlet of the band, this kind of looks like what that is. So it's really amazing artwork. So cool. In the back it has her eyes there. So you get that. Now here's Casta. She's so gorgeous. I love her face. Her sculpt is really cool. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but in person she even has like a little bit of a cleft chin. Which is really nice. And she has really strong eyebrows, which I like. Her eyes are beautiful. She has like a purple eyeshadow with some gold in the corner and purple underneath. You can see her really pretty iris is purple also and it has like that zigzag gold in it. And then she has a little gold beauty mark there. Her lips are also in the same shade of purple as her eyeshadow. And she has a really pretty little beauty mark right there. Now her hair is super long goes all the way down to almost the bottom of her dress. Very long and it's just all straight and it's very soft. Now it's all black except for up here and this like poof part she has a streak of orange and a streak of purple and this part is like pretty hard gelled. And it goes there like in a half up half down which in the sides are like pulled back here and then you have this one hard piece that connects to the ponytail and the rest just flows down her back. Now she does not have 
a necklace. It's more just like this whole neck piece here, but she does have these really awesome earrings. I love these earrings. I wish I had these earrings. Like a bunch of spiky balls. Those are really cool. And she has some bracelets. She has the spiky purple one and this gold or uh, silver shiny one. And over here she has another purple one that's just like the other one. Now my favorite part of this outfit, actually I have two favorite parts. Number one is this piece. This is awesome. I think this really makes her entire outfit. It is so cool. It is just amazing. It's like this whole like bodice piece which is connected up here and goes around her neck and it secures in the back here. Then it's like these cages that go over her shoulders. It's just so pretty and they connect here. They attach here onto her arm so it secures them down right there and there. But it's just so amazing. I love that. And my second part is her shoes. We'll get to that in a second. So to show you the back here. You can actually pop the cage off. There's a little, two little secures on the top and the bottom. If you don't like it for some reason, you just want to have her in her pretty dress. And her dress has these really pretty, like, um, crinoline poof sleeves inside the cage there. Then up here, the top that goes up to her neck, it's like, um, like a pleathery material. And it's orange right there in the top, and it cascades down to all purple. All shiny, shiny, shiny purple. And then down here, this goes out. It's almost like a, like a mermaid style dress. In the way that it's tapered here. And then it fans out with a bunch of crinoline. A few layers of that. And she has this really nice belt that goes around there. You can't take it off, it's just decorative, but it's a really cute detail. Now, the shoes. These are my second favorite part of this whole outfit. They are really epic shoes. I love them. They have the buckles on them. In her bio, it also says, like, fashion-wise, that she loves buckles. And purples and that kind of stuff. And spikes. So those are the spikes all over the place. And those buckle details. I just, I want these shoes for me. They are so cool. And really nice. So there is Casta. Here is her microphone that she is holding. You just secure it into her hand. Put that little piece there. This hand that she has is like almost just like the way the regular are, but this one has like um like a cupped hand that way she can hold her mic better. And then if we pop this out here, you can put it into her broomstick mic stand. So this just pops in right here. I can show you guys. There we go. Now this mic stand is really nice because it has even like more buckle details hanging off the broomstick handle. And down we, here we have the, it's the same purple almost that's in her dress so it all matches nicely. And even if you can see here, there's even like wood grain detail on the silver part that is made to be the broomstick handle. So just really cool details. So you can just place that there for her so she can sing a little song. And I think that's pretty much it for Casta Fierce. She's so pretty. I think she's one of my new favorite dolls also. I always say that though, but she really is. I think this is the first like full-on witch character that Monster High has ever done. And she's so cool. Like from her minty green skin, just to all the really amazing details that they gave her. And I like that she is a bigger doll in the bigger sister mold. I thought that was really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this review. Please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want some more videos. And follow me on Instagram as well as Pinterest. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.